I just finished cutting out Simplicity 9550. I cut out a size 6. It only calls for 4 pattern pieces and it calls for 5 pattern pieces if you decide to add the sash here that goes around the shorts, which is what I'm going to be making. This is view D and it does call for an invisible zipper in the back. There are going to be gathers around the front of the skirt or shorts and around the back of the shorts. I'm going to be using this rayon fabric that I purchased from LA Finch and this pattern is rated as very easy. This pattern does have a skirt in it. View C is actually a skirt. It doesn't show on the front but on the back of the pattern you can see view C here and also here. I've had this fabric for so long and I'm finally using it so I'm happy about that. And I have enough left over that I could make a top. So I'm thinking about doing that. Not sure if I will. And I've decided for this pattern that I'm not going to make the sash. So I'm just going to make the shorts and that will be it. Maybe a top. I just finished pulling up the gathering stitches and attaching the yoke and now I'm about to work on the back and this is where I will be putting in the invisible zipper. I finished with the skirt and I had enough fabric left so I decided I'm going to go ahead and make this top. I did lengthen the top by about two and a half inches. It does have a little split at the neck edge in the back and there is supposed to be elastic in the sleeves. I'm going to add the elastic. I just need to go get some and it's going to be one inch wide elastic and then the hem calls for one inch wide elastic but I'm going to use two inch wide elastic. I put the two inch wide elastic and it's still too high in the front. I just don't want my belly to show if I can help it. So I'm going to take this elastic out and lower the hem a little bit. And the other thing is in the back, I have this flap here and I followed the directions on how to do this closure and this is the end result. It doesn't have any way to keep it closed up here at the top. So I'm going to have to figure out a way. To keep that fastened. So I seam ripped the big hem that I had that was about two inches and I'm bringing it down to about an inch and a quarter and then I'm going to use one inch elastic now in the hem. I just came back from buying this big roll of elastic from Walmart. This is the two inch wide elastic that I had in the bottom of the top but now I'm going to open this and put this in the bottom and also in the sleeve area. I purchased these snap pliers a long time ago and I ripped the package open today to use them for the very first time. They're by Dritz. I've been watching a YouTube video on how to use it and I put my first snap in and I think it looks so nice. So I'm going to go ahead and put the other snap in but this is how I'm finishing the neck edge. Oh, so I have the snaps in but I did them wrong. So the top is snapped together and this is how it's looking. I can't wear it like that. So this one is on the wrong side. So actually this opening should be on the front so that they can snap together. So I did it wrong. So I'm just going to wear it like this with these two little circles in the back. Before I go, I want to leave you with a love share of a place that I visited a little while ago that you may want to check out. And we're stopping at this place called Gus's World Famous Hot and Spicy Fried Chicken. And they have this place in Memphis and we've gone here before. But we've never tried it in California. Okay, mac and cheese and collard greens, right? 
and chicken, and then I have pickle spears. Yum. 